100 large crates now hold the twisted wreckage of what once was a $2 billion spaceship. 120 tons of barnacle-encrusted debris were collected from the ocean during the biggest search ever conducted. Now, they're taken to the old Minuteman missile complex at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station for burial. It was the most economical site to prepare for the storage, and it's also good for security reasons. And it's underground. Space workers slowly lowered the first crates into the ground. The Minuteman complex, which is about 15 miles down the beach from where Challenger lifted off a record 10 times, will hold the recovered debris. About half of the shuttle still lies on the ocean floor. It will take about two months to place all of the spacecraft in the silos and underground equipment rooms. There are some pieces that will have to be cut. There's uh, primarily it's the solid rocket motor casings. They're too large to go into those 12 foot diameter uh, silos. Along with the rest of the orbiter, Challenger's crew cabin will also be buried here. NASA says that 90% of it was recovered after it plunged intact to the ocean surface. The impact shattered the cabin and is believed to be what killed the astronauts. In consideration of the families, NASA has not allowed us to photograph the crew compartment. When completed, a 10-ton concrete cap will form a waterproof seal over the debris. However, NASA says there's still access and they've numbered and logged each carton in the event some part must be reviewed. Even so, NASA officials are looking to the future. We started moving on to uh, the next flight uh, many, many months ago, but it is sort of the conclusion of the investigation of the accident. As the anniversary of the tragedy nears, these space workers will look back and remember, then they'll get busy preparing discovery for a mission scheduled just over a year away. Mike Victor for CBS News, Cape Canaveral, Florida.